Today, we're playing through the Elliot Yandere mod. Yay! Now, I'm not a fan of Elliot, so I'm kind of really hoping that this mod gives him something just a little bit more. Elliot, I've come to be stalked by you, my boy. If there's things I miss, or, you, or you, uh, you'll notice I changed the portraits because I couldn't deal with his judgmental side eye while playing through this mod. I can't stand disturbances when I write. So I decided to move here. Though if it's you, I can certainly make an exception. You're more than welcome to disturb me. Those crab cakes went over pretty quickly, huh? Whenever you come by the beach, please be sure to visit my cabin. For as long as you are by my side, I will have a steady stream of inspiration. Okay, we're straight into it. First event coming out of the mines. It's so late. Why haven't you gone home yet? Wait, where is he saying that from? Oh god, he's down there! Wait, wait, were you just waiting for me? The mountain roads are dangerous at night. Would you like me to take you home? Why were you just kind of hanging out by that tree over there? I heard from Willy that there are rare fish to be caught at night, so I simply waited on the mountain, that's all. You were waiting behind that tree to catch fish? Were you gonna sneak up on them, Elliot? Some fish are a little tricky to catch. That's why I'm still out so late. Is he talking about me? Could it be Sebastian? Do you think I'm, do you think I'm stalking you? How could I possibly do such a terrible thing? Sebastian, you, you think too much. I actually don't think enough. I don't have a lot of thoughts going through my head a lot of the time. It's also a good thing to be so vigilant. Speaking of which, Sebastian, do you know the legend of Bigfoot? I heard it's also appeared here in the mountains. I think his name is Linus, Elliot. It lurks in the shadows of the trees, spying on those coming, ready to deliver a fatal blow. Honestly, just saying that makes me feel a little frightened. But since we're here together, I know we won't encounter any monsters. All I'm trying to say is that you should be more careful whenever you come to these mountains alone. Is he threatening me? I bid you good night, Sebastian. Sleep well. Oh my God, it's Bigfoot. Wait, what? Is this from Elliot? Sebastian, I deeply apologize. After much deliberation, I have de finally decided to send this letter. I heard that you and Sam started dating. Have we? How does this always circle around to Sam being killed? How could you do this, Sebastian? How could you possibly fall, per fall for a person like that? I'm willing to bet that you know far less about Sam than someone like Penny. No offense, but you and he are in no way compatible, though naturally. He's the one who doesn't deserve you. Going to do my best to control my tone, but I hope you understand that I am in no way calm at this time. I implore you to rethink this choice carefully. I have enclosed what you need. Once you're ready, give it to him. He will understand. A wilted bouquet? Holy shit, you don't have to ask me twice, Elliot. Hey, loser. Whoa, what? Sam, I'm gonna be completely honest with you. I didn't even know we were dating. Sebastian, I've been watching you. Have you noticed? What the fuck? We have one heart with this man. It's hard to believe that summer is coming to an end, as are these moonlight jellyfish. He looks like a sexy pirate. Humans are really strange creatures. We marvel at the beauty of nature while doing our best to destroy it. Maybe some things should never have been taken for granted in the first place. I don't want to watch everything beautiful destroyed within my own hands. Is he talking about me? Hi, Elliot. Did you have fun with the jellyfish dance? I thought you already went back. Me, I I couldn't sleep, so I came out for a walk. Once the crowd dispersed, it suddenly became extremely quiet here. And oddly enough, I found it a little uncomfortable. Yes, I know it's quiet here, most of the time. Very rarely is it ever so lively. So I'm not sure what's making me feel this way. Tonight is the last night of summer. I wonder if those moonlight jellyfish feel lonely when they must swim to distant waters, leaving the glow of the candlelit boat behind them. Sorry, Sebastian. <laughs> I, sh I shouldn't say such things. I suppose I'm just feeling a bit emotional tonight. It's already late, Sebastian. Why don't I take you back home? Can't I stay <laughs> already? Back to your place, Elliot? W what did you say? No, well, I'm not saying you can't, but it's just that there's there's not so much space in there, you know, that room for both of us, you know. I have an idea. Let's sit on the beach together and enjoy the last starry night of the summer. Wait, that's actually adorable. I hate Elliot. Why, why, am I, why am I blushing? I'm glad you're here, Sebastian. I was expecting to spend this last summer night alone, like I always have. But instead, actually, Sebastian, there's something I've been meaning to tell you. Sebastian, I... 
Are you still awake? It hit 2 a.m. and we passed out. Good night, Sebastian. Sweet dreams. And I love you. What crab cakes do to a man? Hey, how did we wake up in our own bed? Did he just drag me home? What the fuck is here? I bet you he waited there all night. Good morning. I suppose you don't remember much. Last night, since you fell asleep we, while we were stargazing, I just brought you back home. How? I was worried you might catch a cold, so that I thought I'd stick around for a while. I hope you don't mind. He actually waited outside our house all night. Oh, don't worry. I didn't enter your house without permission. I knew he was a vampire, although it's already autumn. It's still rather warm. The morning breeze is also quite nice. Have a nice day, Sebastian. What the fuck? Charlie, what do we do? So, so far, he's threatened to kill Sam, stalked me, dragged me back home during the middle of the night, slipped outside my house, creepily whispered I love you while I was asleep, and we're not even on four hearts yet. Are you sleepy? I've got some coffee for you. Wait, he's, he just gave us coffee! And he's not even our boyfriend yet! How is he everywhere we go? It's a beautiful day, isn't it? It reminds me of when we first met. Simply thinking about it made me want to see you so badly all of a sudden. Where did you come from? He's everywhere! I must admit it wasn't just on a whim that I wanted to actually meet you here. I've actually been wanting to tell you this for a long time. Despite having prepared for this moment, I'm, <laughs> I'm still feeling a little nervous. I'm horrified. <laughs> Once you meet the person who's gonna change your life, you simply know it right away. And for me, you are that special person. I love you, Sebastian. Oh, thanks. I have the Heelys. Do you think we can make a run for it? You can't imagine how much I'm really in love with you. Every second I'm with you, I'm restraining myself and I don't want my feelings to scare you. But now, I just can't hold back any longer. <laughs> what the fuck? I can't imagine you with anyone else. Whenever I see you smiling at other people, it pains me. I want you to reserve that heavenly smile from only me. I want you to stay by my side. I want you to be mine. Alone. This is what I expect out of a Yandere mod. Sebastian, will you be my boyfriend? Oh god, what do we pick? I picked one by mistake. I think I chose number two. Please, don't be afraid of me, okay? You can still think of me as your best friend. No matter what happens, believe me when I say, I will never hurt you. But I won't give up. I won't stop loving you. So see you later, Sebastian. There's just so much. We're on eight hearts with him? Wait, did we miss heart events? Don't, don't leave me. I, I won't. I, I, I can't. So we're, we're doing it out of order, and this is meant to be the five heart event. Sebastian, oh, oh, why? Are you standing up in your bed? How did you walk out of your bed? You, you weren't supposed to see me like this. I've actually been suffering from insomnia at night, so I had to try take a nap during the day, and you saw the result, didn't you? I've been having nightmares recently, and I just, I just can't sleep at all for the longest time. I couldn't understand why this was happening to me. And by the time I finally realized the cause, I'd already suffered countless sleepless nights. No, truthfully, I believe exactly why in my heart. There was nothing I could do about it. Would you mind leaving first, Sebastian? I think I just need a little time alone. Then I'll go first, you get some rest. But I want to stay with you? Are we gonna watch over him while he sleeps? You bet your ass I'm staying. I wanna see what happens if we just stick around. Is that so? In that case, can I ask you something? I'd like to cuddle you, Sebastian. Yeah, this is fucking horrifying. This is the five heart event. Technically in the storyline, he hasn't even asked me to be his boyfriend yet. Come Sebastian. Okay, but the, sto the socks have to stay on. I haven't had a good night's sleep in days. Have a little pity on me. Oh, I don't like that. Oh, I don't like that. Sebastian, you're really warm. Don't leave my side until I fall asleep, okay? Elliot fell asleep. If it means he can finally rest peacefully, maybe it wouldn't hurt to stay a while. And now he's just disappeared like a ghost. It's really not often that I'm speechless. Uh, hi, Elliot. Sebastian has slept well with you by my side. Stay with me a little longer next time. 
I don't know if I want there to be a next time. Today I was reminded of the first time we met. I heard they used to work for Joja in Zuzu City, eventually deciding to leave everything behind to live here in Saru Valley. I can't imagine what you must have went through. I understand it had to have been overwhelming, stressful, and painful for you. If you went as far as to abandon everything, nonetheless, since you're here now, I hope you can leave these oppressive restrictions behind. Yeah, this is actually from Willie. Simply enjoy your new life. That's just what a new beginning is about, isn't it? I assume most people who decide to start a new life have a sad past, and I am no exception. In fact, even now, my heart is still shrouded in a somber haze. But now I have you, Sebastian, the sun and moon of my heart, my savior and my dream. You are the only living presence in my world. There was a time when I would have welcomed my own earthly death. But now, I want to continue living with you. That's a lot to just read and at 6 o'clock in the morning, you know? Oh, for God's sakes, there's more! I must apologize to you for how I have done something completely inexcusable. Forgive me. I've been lurking around your farm last night. I saw you rush into your home. Your delicate yes, fingertips like slightly red as anvil as evidence of your arduous labors. Your pretty silhouette cast through the window, and with bated breath, I watched you collapse onto your bed, silent, in repose. Unable to control myself, I pushed open your bedroom door to gaze upon your sleeping form. My whole body trembling with excitement, I reached out and caressed your cheek, the softness of which made me feel like a drunken fool unable to think. For Yova's sake, I didn't do anything beyond that. As tempting as it was to do otherwise, because I didn't want to disturb your peaceful slumber, let alone harm who I hold so dear. How has he sent us three letters? I want to take you in my arms, save you the sweet taste of your lips as I leave you utterly breathless. I want you to- Can I read this? Is this- is this- is this- is this okay? I want to touch your body and feel every inch, last inch of your beautiful skin. I want to brush my fingers over your ears. Oh, my ears. Your collarbones and feel your fire breath against my flesh as you cry and tremble for me. What the fuck? Of course, most importantly, I want you. Weird, I didn't realize Willie was such a poet. Here, you are quite the romantic, aren't you? Oh my god, does he have a summer outfit on? That's so cute. Maybe our courtship be prosperous for both of us. Yeah, I feel like this might be quite one-sided, Elliot. Is he in our house? Is he just like- Oh god, he just walked in! Oh, dude, I thought I locked the door! Hello, Sebastian. <laughs> I'm sorry. I- I didn't mean to. I- I don't know why I'm just standing here. I'm sorry. I I'll just- It's raining hard outside, do you want to stay? Do we just tell him to stay? Do we just offer him a place? I think the worst thing you could do in this situation is to offer him a place to stay. So we're gonna do that. Really? I... No. It'd be best if I leave. I'm sorry. Thank you, Sebastian. I'm... I'm just... Oh, Elliot, you don't have to say anything. I'm sorry. I know you must have been surprised to see me all of a sudden. I just... I miss you so much. I miss you so much, Sebastian. Can I... Can I just hold you? You've already done that! We don't need to do this again! Oh, we're just going for it, apparently. Sebastian. I... I missed you so much. I had a nightmare that you left me. When I woke up, I couldn't tell you what was reality or a dream. I just knew I had to find you. You're really... Warm. Only when I hold you do I feel that you and this world are real. Promise you'll never leave me. Okay? I think I'm gonna move to Zuzu City. I dreamt about you again last night. Although I don't recall the exact details of the dream, I woke up inexpressibly frustrated and lost. Hands still on my heart. I realize now that it cannot go on like this. I love you, Sebastian. There is no person I love more than you. This is why I can't continue to hide behind this anonymity. Shamelessly spewing my hopeful and the honeyed words of the affection your way. I want to see you. I want you to see me. I want your heart to be occupied by me and alone with me. As such, I must say goodbye to you, my hair, my dear, in order to be with you for eternity. But I assure you that I will always be watching over you, your faithful admirer. Wow, Clint really has a way with words. 
Oh, for God's sake, I give you this pendant as a proof of my heart. Thank you, Elliot. Jesus. He gave me this bouquet, so I feel like we shouldn't waste it. Hey, Sam, I changed my mind. I can't imagine life without you anymore, Sebastian. If you were to leave, I'm sure I would just die. Oh, he's not gonna like it when we just go to Zuzu City, huh? Yeah, have this. So our journey has led us here. I shall miss the sea. You could take your boat out to the sea, Elliot, and just not come back. I shall speak with Mayor Lewis about our celebration. In three days' time, our paths will be one. You, um, you do that. I've got some things to do, Elliot. From what I've seen, this mod actually has two endings. A good ending and a bad ending. Personally, I think we should get the bad ending. We need to get all of the male villagers as our boyfriends. Okay, so now that we've caught them all like Pokemon, it is a great honor to unite Sebastian and Elliot in the bonds of marriage. Lewis, I'm being held against my will. I don't want to do this, Lewis. He has a gun, Lewis. He has a gun. Life's gonna be different from now on because I can't escape now. <gasps> Run! What's the matter, darling? Didn't you come here for a drink? Oh, it's a bit orky, isn't it? Sebastian, you're trembling. Are you okay? Not really. You're not sick, are you? Do you want to see Dr. Harvey? It just so happens he's here too. It'd be fine if you were sick. You'd never be able to leave me that way. What? What? Don't come closer to me. Please don't come closer to me. Sebastian. You're not trying to run away, are you? Didn't you promise to stay with me forever? Don't you want these people to see that you're mine? Knock it off, will ya? What? Dude, Sam's gonna die. Just shut up, dude. Shut up, Sam. And who are you to stop me? Come on, Sebastian. Kiss me. Or do you want me to take the initiative? If so, then I can guarantee... I can't guarantee that it'll end at just a simple kiss. We're in public, Elliot. Uh, Shane doesn't care. Shane's just up there taking a drink. He's like, I knew this day would come. Shh, don't be afraid. Don't be afraid. You're doing great. <laughs> no, I'm not angry. I've always wanted to do this. You're gonna be with me forever, Sebastian, aren't you? Gus is like, what just happened? Darling, I have some bad news. I got the results of your physical from Dr. Harvey. They're not good. I think you'll have to rest here on the farm for a while. He's trying to, he's trying to lock me in the house. He's trying to silence the lambs me, dude. I know, I know, I'm not happy about it either. But there's nothing more important than the body, is there? Maybe my life? Oh, and don't worry. I'll order the seeds you need from Pierre. Harvey advised you to continue some of your usual work. It's, it's good for your health. When did we get a physical? I understand this, is new, this news is hard for you to bear, Sebastian. But for your health sakes, just try to endure it for a while. I promise. I'll take good care of you. Is something wrong, Sebastian? I feel good. I think you're lying to me. Sebastian, do you really think I'm lying to you? I'm telling the truth. Though even if I was lying, what could you do about it? He's just threatening me now. What the fuck? All I'm asking is that you stay home for a while, darling. Promise me. You'll get some rest, okay? This is the scariest mod I've ever played. Oh yeah, what happens if we try and leave? Use the Heelys! Get out of here! You just spawned! Sebastian, where do you think you're going? Didn't I tell you that you need to stay here with me? Why are you trying to leave? Is this something you're not happy with? Come. Let's go home. And don't think about leaving me anymore. Promise me not to run off again, okay? <laughs> you don't need to see anyone besides me. I hate it here. Seed order. Thank you for trying out Pierre's grocery store's mailing service. We will mail you the seeds you ordered. In the meantime, please extend my best regards to Sebastian. I hope to see them recover soon. He's told everyone in town? He's got me trapped. Okay, guys, new Stardew challenge. Today, we're gonna play 100 days of Stardew Valley, but I'm forced against my will to not be able to leave the farm. I'm held at gunpoint. Welcome home, Sebastian. <laughs> Let's go to bed early tonight, okay? There's something I wanna tell you. <laughs> I don't want to. What I've been meaning to say is... Your son looks like a girl! Thanks, Kwash. Welcome in. What I've been meaning to say is... I'm sorry. Of course you're not sick. It was all a lie I, I made up since that last incident. I just, I lost myself to rage. Thinking of you and all those people, I, I, 
I know I'm a petty man, and that kind of shoddy lie would never be able to fool you. All I want is to be with you, even if only for a second longer. I want to be with you forever, Sebastian. I want you to be mine, all mine, and there's very little I want to do in order to achieve that. This time with you has been like a dream. A dream that I never want to wake up from. But I know full well that we can't go on like this. People are likely getting suspicious by now, and you think? Please, don't be mad at me, Sebastian. I just... I love you too much. Elliot's like, I did a little whoopsie. Starting tomorrow. I won't keep you here anymore. Compared to seeing you unhappy, I'd, I'd rather torment me all you want. Just, just don't leave me. Now get some rest, my dear. Sweet dreams. Mistake number one, Elliot. I'm getting a divorce. Shouldn't have let me go, bitch. Let me in, Lewis. I've been trapped in my house for the past two weeks. I'm filing the divorce. Uh, uh, anyone help me. And he's gone. Good morning, Sebastian. I haven't been up long. I simply came back to check the mailbox. Then I saw this notice from the mayor. Honestly, I couldn't believe my eyes. I read it over again several times. Start to finish, only to realize I truly hadn't misread it. I hate how happy he is about all of this. Do you really hate me that much? Do you really hate me to the point of never wanting to see me again? Tell me. Tell me you're serious. Is it something I did wrong? Or... Is there someone else? You can act as though I don't exist. You can go meet people behind my back. It's okay. It doesn't matter what it is. I can bear it. Just, just anything but this. Why are you doing this to me? I love you. I love you more than anything else. You know that, don't you? So why? Don't you love me? Why are you leaving me? I don't give a damn about the notice. I just want to hear you tell me yourself. I, I understand. I'm so sorry, Sebastian. I won't bother you again. Where did he go? Let's go see if he's in his hut. Hope nothing bad happens. Just like two sentences, man. It doesn't need to be a whole novel, you know? Without you by my side, I'm completely unable to sleep through the night. I miss those rainy evenings when we would fall asleep together. I miss those days I would wake up to see the morning light fanning across me your beautiful face. Although you have left me, the memories of the past and only grow all the more clear in my mind. In the dreary atmosphere of every dark night, the only person who occupies my thoughts is you. Who is it that you think of now? Who is it that kisses your lips? No matter how many times I've told myself to stop thinking of you, any and all of my efforts were in vain. I feel like a husk of who I used to be, like nothing more than a walking corpse that's been forced to be a stranger. Seeing you show that lovely smile to all besides me used to make me feel warmth beyond compare. At this point, I don't know how to live without you. What do you mean by that? I've considered the option of taking you by four. What? Haven't you done that already? Keeping you fitted and leaving you no other op choice but to think of me. Anything to make you mine again. But what good would that do? No matter what I do now, you will never leave, ever love me back. So this is likely my final farewell. Just remember that I will love you forever. Love, Elliot. This is definitely evidence for the police. The ocean is so beautiful. Isn't it? I was wondering when you would come. I've waited for this day a lot for a long, long, long time. Remember the last time we were out at sea? I spent a long time thinking about it after finishing my novel. Thinking about whether or not to go see you. I'd always known things wouldn't end well between us. And deep down, I just knew that I'd never see the day I'd grow old. As it turns out, not only the successful, but even the unfortunate like me are afraid of death. Don't worry, I'm not going to die. Oh, thank God. I'll live until I wake up one day and become a sea turtle or something. That, that, that still sounds like death. I've loved rainy days ever since I was a kid. Through the window, I could see the hazy world outside. The only thing connecting me to it being the wet raindrops on the glass. At the time, I always felt so distant, as if I was trapped in another world, a world with no rain, no people, a world where everything had long since disappeared. I have always been afraid, afraid of the world, and even more afraid of being alone. Sebastian, I need you to know something. I didn't make this decision because of you. So don't feel sad, okay? In fact, I've been looking forward to this moment before I met you. Hey, Sebastian. Do you think I'll see a crimson fish in the sea? Why did he make a plopping sound? Willy, what the fuck just happened? 
Do you know where Elliot has gone? I've been looking all over for him, but I've yet to find a single trace. I'm a little worried about him. Oh my god, it's like I can still see him standing there. <laughs> Will Penny also leave like Big Bro Elliot did one day? <gasps> oh, Vince, my sweet summer child. I have to go see what Leah says. Everyone probably thinks that Adley and I are completely different people. But that's not the sort of thing you can tell from the surface, you know? Sorry, Ad. Don't know what I'm talking about. Oh shit, there she is. Elliot's missing. Did you know? Everyone says he probably went back to town, but I don't buy it. You might think I'm overthinking it, but... I've always been worried that one day he might... You know, it's a common problem among artists. I really hope nothing bad happened to him. There's no way Elliot would just up and leave without saying goodbye, right? There has to be some sort of explanation for all this. Is he going to my farm? Is there anything you'd like to say to me? Oh. oh my god, it's like I can still hear his voice. Still Elliot's gonna just up and leave like that, huh? He owed me 40 bucks, that cheapskate. Hey, uh, you hear about what's happening in town? I'm sorry, Sebastian. I don't know what to say. It was his choice to make. And no one else has the right to interfere. But he shouldn't have got you involved. I believe it's best to not let the townspeople know the truth. Wow, that was a lot. At least it made Elliot interesting, right? 